Good evening, Brett. Sheriff Jim Allard says a divided Steuben County legislature passed two unprecedented resolutions last week. He says a quote, handful of members of the county government are trying to undermine his authority and could make it harder for deputies to do their jobs. This is just, this makes me fear for every member of the sheriff's office and for every citizen in Steuben County that these types of acts could so negatively devastate public safety here in Steuben County. Steuben County Sheriff Jim Allard says he filed a petition with the New York State Supreme Court to stop, quote, two unprecedented resolutions made by the county legislature. Sheriff Allard says they were passed with, quote, virtually no public input or debate and stripped him of legal defense and indemnification against lawsuits. Lawsuits against the sheriff's office used to be handled by a countywide insurance policy for all departments. But Sheriff Allard says without any reason, the legislature is imposing a, quote, unlawful requirement on him to purchase millions of dollars in liability insurance. The sheriff says he would have to pay for it out of his own pocket. It would appear to be an, you know, an attack on me and... Obviously, I probably can't afford that, um, but what it's going to do is effectively um, remove me from my duties and responsibilities with the sheriff's office by not being able to do my duties and responsibilities and then devastate the public safety uh, for the citizens of Sabin County by having a, a sheriff's office that's basically in limbo. Sheriff Allard says a second resolution, quote, takes away the protection that the county gives to other officers and staff against being sued for performing their duties. Now, does that mean the sheriff's deputies that are doing their work out on the street, they will no longer have the protection that they used to have? I'm you know? not sure how it's going to affect them. That's the other issue. Is this really unclear? Sheriff Allard says the uncertainty is already making it harder to recruit new deputies at a time when law enforcement nationwide is having trouble finding new recruits. They're out there making split second decisions every day on public safety issues and they don't need that doubt in the back of their mind. In a statement, the chair of the Steuben County Legislature called it a difficult decision that was not made overnight. Scott Van Etten wrote, quote, the county must ensure that the laws of New York State that protect our employees from harassment and discrimination are enforced across all departments, including the sheriff's office. Since at least the end of June, the sheriff has been aware of the serious concerns of the county, and instead of taking steps to find compliance with state law, the county has been met with half-truths, deflection, and legal threats. To claim no explanation has been given is patently false and is a public statement the sheriff can now not take back. These resolutions have no financial or operational impact upon the men and women in uniform who faithfully serve our county. The resolutions impact Sheriff Allard alone. Now, Sheriff Allard says he expects a state Supreme Court judge to issue a stay on the rulings as early as this week. Then the issue will have to be litigated in court. We posted Sheriff Allard's full statement, his full interview, and the county's response on our website. You can also read the resolutions that were passed. That's all on mytwintiers.com. Brett. All right, Nick, thank you.